Assessors of Uganda Business and Technical Examination Board have been encouraged to share what they have learned with their colleagues to increase efficiency. This follows a one-week training of assessors from different professions ahead of Uganda Business and Technical Examination Board exams. Sometimes you find they say we had set this practical to take two hours, but indeed it took us three hours. Sometimes they say uh, we had set a practical for two hours, but it has taken us one hour. Then they reflect on why it was like that. Sometimes you find the equipment in the industry is so sophisticated, it is automated, the, 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 the surface finishing of the product is different. So they also learn a lot when they go to the industry. Nasas says the assessors have been exposed to industry equipment for my experience. We started uh, what we call modular assessment, whereby we are trying to see, to make sure that what people do at school matches with what is required in the industry. So you find that we have even repackaged the, the assessment to read more of occupations to read more of what people are expected to do when they go out in the industry. So we are trying to create that close linkage, that close collaboration, that close assimilation between what is at school and what is in industry. An assessor, Oliver Onanya, says she has been exposed to different types of machines and the training has boosted her experience in welding. I used to only learn in uh, arc welding. But here in the workshop, we have got different types of machines like TIG welding machines, MIG and MAG. Uh, as an examiner, before you set the paper and uh, give it for the students to do, you have to first test it. Because uh, in testing, you'll be actually uh, interested in some other items like time, so that you'll be able to time the, the, the learners. Sudat Kaye and Henry.